Good Morning Washington on your side. Well, if you're thinking about renovating your home in your spare time this summer, you might want to take a few things into consideration. As the term DIY or do it yourself grows in popularity, it might not always be the best or the cheapest for you and you might want to consider some other options. So here today to talk about some home improvement myths is owner of House Doctors of DC, Kevin Logan. Welcome to Good Morning Thank Washington. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Okay, so let's first say that there are some of those things that are out there that are pretty simple to do like replacing a, a light switch sure. or unclogging your drain or your garbage disposal sure. and, and even putting up a shelf. Right, right. But there can be some things that are a little more difficult to do. One of the things that you brought in today was this uh, hand bar. The grab bar. Or a grab bar, okay. Absolutely. So on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate this compared to some of the things that I mentioned? Sure, uh, the grab bar can be a little bit more difficult. I'd say on one to 10, maybe a four. Uh, three to four just depends on the location where you want to put it your consideration between drywall or tile mm -hmm. drywall is a little bit easier i'd say definitely uh, but if you have problems locating the studs behind it then that's when you inc difficulty increases right and sometimes too when it comes to electrical work folks are uh, a little intimidated as well they should be right a good time to hire a contractor absolutely i mean th like you said the small things a light switch you know the difficulty of a three but you know still those safety considerations you know, electrical makes you say, ouch, plumbing just is a oops. Absolutely right. And whatever we do, we want to be safe about it, yes. right? So we're the safety glasses and we want it to last. Absolutely. And I think one of the hardest things sometimes that people can do or that they forget is installing uh, shelves that are going to have a lot of weight on it or mm -hmm. something like this. You've really got to be uh, spot on with finding your studs and right. making sure that it adheres well to the wall so that it's not coming out the moment you really start using it. Yeah, absolutely. So, so talk about this grab bar and what is one of the, pro what is the proper way to install? Sure, sure. So with the grab bar, uh, a lot of times what we find is some, uh, we've seen where people try to use a, just a regular towel rod as a grab bar. So mm -hmm. that's a no, no. What makes the grab bar really uh, special is that it is, it is welded in a way that nothing is, is not three distinct parts, it's one complete part. One complete part, right. right. So you're not going to have it where this part is going to be slipping off, off and, and okay. when you grab onto it. And, and so, and the other part to consider is when you're using anchors, you know, each, look at the package because each anchor is actually l rated when, at a certain load of what it can handle. Exactly. And so as you maximize the different anchors when you put your holes in, that's what really brings it out. So we know that when we install something to regular drywall, you're looking for the studs. How does that change when you're installing on tile, right? Because this would be right. on tile if it's if it's in a shower. If it's in a shower, right. uh, it's for it's easier to find the studs if the tile doesn't go all the way up to the ceiling. But you know, design-wise, we see a lot of designs where people tile all the way up to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. so that makes it a little harder. So one of the things might be able if you have the room, if you can access the wall behind the shower, okay. and know where the studs are, that'll help you find where you're actually going to put your grab bar. Uh -huh. uh, the other thing is to consider is the length. You know, studs typically run 16 inches on center. Mm -hmm. uh, this is like an 18 inch. So this would be a perfect to, at an angle so that you hit the studs rather than trying to f put it straight and figure out Can you out use where. a stud finder on top of tile? It's a little bit difficult. I mean, if you have like a truly advanced upside, it may show up, but it can get a little tricky. Uh -huh. So it's really, it's really hard to find. Typically, you may try to measure from the corner of a shower. And of course, the old fashioned way for finding studs is just to go through knock until the sound changes. Yeah, if you have a good ear for that, yes you can. Yeah, right, okay, okay. So what are some of the myths when it comes to home improvement? You know, a lot of folks, this is the time of year when, when you really want to get out there and tackle some jobs. Yeah, absolutely, and, and you know, when we see it on TV, the popular home improvement shows, mm -hmm. those, you know, they have great design ideas, but you know, considering going big is not always the best. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes just paying attention to the small things, caulking, uh -huh. uh, water management around your home, keeping that water out, preventing water damage can still bring out the value of your home rather than say, hey, I need to increase the value, so let me add some big addition. Right, yeah, and maybe going with smaller jobs too, right? Right, uh, in, right. In terms of whether you're hiring a contractor or doing it yourself, especially if you've uh, never been a homeowner before. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, what about trends? I mean, all you gotta yeah. do 
just turn on the TV, yeah. home channel, 24 seven, it's on, you get hooked. You're like, oh, I'm gonna go to home. I'm gonna go to one of the box stores and I'm gonna buy some tile and start doing my own and thing. And start doing it, absolutely. You know, think about, you know, what's the, what's the end goal? You know, if you, mm -hmm. if you think that you're going to sell in, in the near future, and think about the person that's actually going to buy it, and it's probably better to be more conservative. If it's your forever home, okay, you could take a little risk, but take risk with painting, maybe. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily some permanent fixtures like countertops, you know, stay more in the traditional. Uh -huh, stay more traditional. And with anything, I mean, it always can be repaired, or worked sure. on. I'm sure you guys get projects that have right. been started before and yeah. you get customers, can you help me fix what I've done, right? Yes, that's, that's a often a, a, a very frequent call that we get. Uh, the problem with that is sometimes that doing it yourself, if you don't start off right, then it costs more for us to come in and redo what you did in order to get us to the finishing point of where you want it to go, mm -hmm. where we want that project to go. So, you know, cause weigh it all in. If you haven't done it before, if you're not all that comfortable, you know, sometimes a try could be not so, come out not so well. Right, and if you want a, a project to stand the test of time, what are some uh, um, uh, tips that you can give on that? Yeah, stand the test of time uh, is really, uh, Starting with the the, ba the foundation of whatever you're doing, you know, because everything builds on each other. And so, you know, even if the framing of a wall, let's say if you decide you want to remodel your own bathroom, right. the framing is not right, you know, then it, it sequentially it comes down, shower doors won't fit right, <laughs> fixtures don't fit right. So Right, or laying tile and not starting at a certain spot right, in the room right, right, and right. thinking and then, you... St right, yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah, you can get into a little bit of trouble for sure, but I like the advice that you get. Thank with you. starting out small, uh, anything that you do can be fixed and repaired. So jump into it. The uh, season is early here, right? It There's is. a lot this to do, whether season. it's outside or Absolutely. in your home. Uh, in terms of your business, what is the call that you get the most in terms of uh, this time of year? What folks Th are wanting this time to of year, get decks. done? Decks. Decks. Yeah, everybody wants so to enjoy outside. outside. Absolutely. Everybody wants outside, outdoor living, and that's great. It's important. But, you know, really paying attention to, you know, what's w your wood, the wood uh, that's outside. The, the type of wood right. and some of the products that are out there now yeah. that are better than they were, say, five or ten years exactly. ago that hold up under the weather. Yeah. All right. Thank you so very Thank much. Thank you so much.